So now in these, uh, uh, we're gonna check out how to process text with a little bit more complexity, okay? Until now, what we have done is we've re read the lines, done nothing much with them, and so on. How do you cope with challenges that occur with real data, okay? Like your text has some other things and so on. Because there are times when you want to read by one word at a time one line at a time, one character at a time, okay? So how do you do that? Python provides many methods such as read, split, strip, etc., that you can use to extract meaning from something, okay? From one line that you read, you can split it, you can read the, uh, a single character and so on, okay? So processing text is required for almost all types of programs. So for example, now why I stopped is because here it's a new type of loop for reading the file. There is no while, right? But there is a for loop. So for variable in this thing. What is this thing? So input file is that pipeline, that pipeline to the file or name of that pipeline, okay? So for any variable, here it's called line in, the other variable that defines the pipeline, do something, do what? That line, is what or that variable is itself dot r split meaning if the line was written like this it will split the line based on spaces so r split basically reads from one space to the other okay so it will read this way okay mary had a little lamb so it will be uh, five strings, okay? And this is just saying the same thing. Example, spam and eggs. So th these are the things that are written in a file, one per line. Just saying the same thing that spam has this thing at the end. So when we strip, when we do an R strip, it reads the first line, spam, and it removes that slash N character. So this character is gone when we do this thing, okay? Then the next slide basically shows you there are many other methods. What they do is written here. Whether you strip it from the right, from the left, etc., and so on. Okay, examples. Let's say the string that you read was this thing, James slash N. When you do R strip, it's left with James. Similarly, if you had spaces in there, um, like trailing and preceding spaces, if you want to strip all of them, what do you need to do if you want to strip only the left spaces? What do you need to do? And so on. Okay? So read these two slides to make sure you understand all these examples. Then reading words. Sometimes you want to read individual words, like I said earlier. Um... Let's say this is the file that has two lines. You want to read each uh, word at a time. Split it into individual words. You read a line. You split it. Dot split will split. List of strings that returns from at each blank space. Like I said earlier. Right? So from space to space. And focus on this thing. Focus on lamb. So it's being read from space to the end or these new line character. But this character 
comma after lamb will be part of this word because the python compiler doesn't understand a b from a or doesn't distinguish between a b and a comma for python a character is a character so b is a character comma is a character it could have been s here it could have been lambs python doesn't know so anything that's in between spaces or between a space and a new line all that is considered part of that word so this one word has l a m b comma okay just remember split will just take the spaces and if you have commas exclamation apostrophes etc they are considered part of that word unless if you want to remove them okay then you have to explicitly provide that list that please remove so you here you are telling the compiler just look at the previous example or oh, just put split then you take that each word and put r strip and in there you provide whatever you want to be thrown out and not considered part of that word okay and let's look at the example so starting from the top what are we doing in the first line we are reading or we are opening lyrics.txt a file that's available i put it on d2l in read mode okay well and good this is the object input file okay then what do we do so for loop is a little different than while loop in the while you have to first read a line then check whether it's empty or not but in a for loop everything is in one line you start from for line in input file if the input file was empty it will never come inside this for loop because of this first line okay when you say for variable in this it will make sure that there is something in this input file okay so mary had a little lamb that's the first line you say write uh, like read that line okay and then strip it then what then we are taking that one line mary had a little uh, lamb splitting it into specific words now word list will be a whole list of words oh, i don't think i need to make it it's already here so it will be split into these like a list essentially right remember from the earlier lectures how lists work so this will be basically converted into a list we just call the variable word list a word list so you can remember it easier you could have called it x here or this is a z so i'm writing a z so it's a z let's say you can call it any variable here it's word list split that line okay then what then for each word in word list if you remember your lists so you can iterate over a list so now we are iterating over the list using this variable for x in word list do what do strip all these from each of those so mary had a little if the any of these characters in encountered in one of these words strip it out and do what put it in this variable called word so it will first take mary is any of those characters in there if it is strip it there is none so the word is mary what are you doing with that word you're printing it on the screen that's it go back now you are at had do what strip any of these there is none printed so on when the last lamb comes lamb has a comma word equals lamb comma dot strip this strip this comma so now lamb is only in here not lamb comma so on the screen word printed is lamb okay word list is done 
your control is here it goes back up here for line in input file input file has that second line whose fleece was white as snow right so it will do all that with that line the second line whose fleece was white as snow comma blah 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 etc etc once that is done like control goes back here there is no other line control comes down here empty line control gunko comes down here what are we doing whatever pipeline that we opened we are closing it and that's it okay so then lyrics.py is the file open it play around with it make sure you understand again these slides i'm going to skip over uh, string splitting methods how each method works it's very very straightforward looking at the slide you should be able to understand what's happening okay okay what if you want to read single characters at a time then what right so there is a method called read in which you can specify how many characters you want to read the number of characters when you're saying one it returns only the next character in the file meaning that it will read one character at a time example while character is not equal to empty do what use that file variable or object dot read these many characters whatever character you read put it in this variable called char okay and so on so it's if you want to read one character at a time usually we deal with words so i'm not going to go into the details of that but i've just showed you how it's done then another type let's say you have to read data records usually like with text files etc you have your files that consist some kind of record for instance record can be uh on one line it can be your id number your full name your address etc etc so how do you read one whole record and process it okay so that's our um task so when working with files you have to read the whole record first and then process it so let's look at an example what does that mean so the first bullet uh, i have written is that the organization or format of the records can vary making some formats easier to read than others so let's say this is one type of format what is the format the name of the country right and what is this i think it's the population uh i think yeah the population let's say of the country written on the line below that so two lines is one record the next two lines is one record the next two lines is another record the next two lines is another record so you first obviously you just can't you write your code blindly you have to open and see the file like how the data is organized in the file and then you can read the processing part based on that type of data it could have been written like this it could have been written like country name colon population new line country name colon population so the two files although containing the same data have records written in a different format right so the format of the record makes your code writing different so some are easier to read write some are not right so reading the format in this format is easier because we know that we need to read two lines right because each record consists of two so we read two lines so what are we doing 
We're reading the first line, checking whether it's empty or not. We know that on the first line, it's the country name. We are stripping. We're reading the next line. We know that the next line has population. We convert it into an integer, put it in this variable, do whatever you want to do with it, write it, calculate, do whatever processing you want, right? Then what? Read the next line. What is the net next line? In this case, we know that it's going to be another country's name, right? Okay, is it empty? No, so obviously it was the country name. So by now we know that the first line is the country name, the second is the population. So this is the first read and this is also the first read meaning the country name read. This is the second read which is the population read. Plus it's supposed to be a 2. Not minus 2, it's a 2. Anyway. Um, so the first line has the country name, the second line has the population, this is what we're doing, processing the record and so on. What if the record was written in this format? Right? What you can do is you can extract the fields by splitting the line with the colon. Right? We're splitting at this colon. Easy, right? Yes. What if record is written like this? So what do you think? So can we use a space like read from space to strip, strip uh, like split it and read it? No, we cannot. Why? Because if you use the split method, this is fine. This is fine. What about this line? Your split stops here. So it will say United is the name of the country and then states it will read as uh, population and all the rest will be messed up, right? So country names usually have more than one word, so we cannot simply use uh, blank spaces as the delimiter. Then what can we do? Okay. Then what we can do is we, we can read a line, start from this side. Now this is only for the data that's written in this format for this specific example. And that's why I said on the, on the first slide that reading each type of data, like, sorry, how the data is written to a file will specify or will dictate how you read data from that file. Let's say data is written in this format. So what you can do is you start from the right side till you hit the first space, that is your population. Does it work here? Yes. Does it work here? Yes. Does it work here? Yes. And so, and everything else is the country name. So this is population. This So this method is working, right? It's much better. As opposed to uh, if we try to extract by splitting at the spaces, right? How? Command is this thing, that whatever your input string was, from the right, you say one, meaning that, okay, till you hit the first space, split it. So this is one, this is the other. And this is the code, okay? And then this slide basically gives you all the other methods. How do you read? How do you close? How do you write? So on. Just all of them have in the one place. Then there's another example, items.py. I want you to open it 
understand it, make sure you understand. Similarly for these files, uh, this example is just data is written like this. Um, one is population, one is area, you have to calculate density. I think it was population over divide something. So these all this is basically telling you step by step, what's the first step, what's the second step. Make sure you go through all these steps, you understand what's happening. Open this code, play, play around with this file, make sure you understand all of it, okay? And that is all basically about filing.